In this video, I will discuss John Donner as a love poet. John Donner is known as a great love poet. His love poems show his intense personal moods as a lover and analyst of his own experience. It is said that Donner was a frequent visitor of ladies. He developed love affairs and friendships with a number of women. He fell in love with and more and eloped with her, and married. He was imprisoned for his love. His experience of love made him a great love poet. Thus his poems are based not on conventions but on his own experience. The love poetry of John Donner reflects his early age experiences. As a love poet, John Donner focused his attention on worldly love. Readers witness the personal experiences, feelings, and emotions of the poet in love poems, however, in many sonnets, the poet exaggerated his feelings. Somewhere he talks about the company of his beloved. Somewhere he prefers his love to any other thing in life. Whereas, at the same point, he talks about the unfaithful nature of women. As a love poet, John Donner demonstrates three strains in his love poems. One cynical strain, two conjugal strain, three platonic strain. First and foremost among them is the cynical strain. Nonetheless, his cynicism is always related to women's unfaithfulness. For example, in Go and Catch a Falling Star he gives argument after argument to prove that loyalty is very rare in women. One can't find a faithful girl. If after doing hard effort, he finds her then it would have been changed until the person reaches her. John Donner may have experienced life from a wide angle but the truth is his experience are only related to love relationships. When his relationship does not do more his beloved betrays him, he becomes cynical. John Donner finds more peace and harmony in love. He sees it as a passion instead of nasty work. Numerous poems by John Donner depict this strain. For instance, Valediction of Weeping and Valediction, Forbidden. Mourning are about spiritual peace. As a love poet, John Donner has proved that love is a part of life and that without it, life is barren and useless. Whenever he remembers his beloved, he attains peace and serenity. He can't forget her or the moments that he has spent with her. Thus, bundles of poems contain the conjugal love strain. Love is love whether it is before marriage or after. There is always spirituality in it. In Sun Risings, the poet considers love as the best thing on this planet. Similarly, in canonization he takes love as a holy passion. Hence, this strain is entirely the opposite of the cynical strain. Apart from the strains, John Donner has a variety of moods. In every poem, it is different. Indeed, three strains and moods come fast to make John Donna as best unconventional love poet of every love. This was all about Donna as a love poet. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.